All right, Elliot. Hi, everybody. I didn't anticipate there'd be so many fucking people. Is everyone, can everyone hear me all right? Hi, super friends. This is great. People, people being supportive and shit. Oh, we've got the dead cosmonauts. Everyone's favorite space doom metal band. Oh, that's wicked. I'm gonna wave to everyone who joined. Because I really, really appreciate it, and I love every single one of you. Hello, modem. All right, Matt. All right, what are we saying? Do, do you want me to answer some questions first, or do you want to hear some music? Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Callum. <laughs> I really should have made a cup of tea before this thing started, I think. It's pretty cold in here, so... Elliot saying music. Ah, I really appreciate the freedom that you're giving me here, Matt. You want to hear some music? Okay. I'll play a couple of songs first then, shall I? out of my window and witness the dying lights I circle round to the nearest earth-like star Centuries of progress and everything we've learned I traded in for an instant brand new start of searching and I'm not even close to finding a place where I can just exist my life is just on paper that no one ever reads I take a second look to see it's empty chains i'm not the answer to your pain we're complex beings that are more than words and bones we are sinners in glass houses with a hatred that is shrouded by a lack of people at whom to throw stones there is no joining of the flesh when my life is such a mess Falling apart and crashing through the glass It's taking so long to recover From the love turned pitch forever The memory still hurts when I'm falling asleep 
we go picking stars like berries while my clothes are feeling heavy. I feel like I'm boiling alive. I'll hide in the hollies. I drink myself to sleep three nights a week. I war with my body. If it's really over, then I'm running out of reasons to stay sober. This is just making my head ache, spewing words without a break. I am glad that I'm surrounded by these people. This is the best I've ever felt And there's already someone else But I'll never be ready to introduce myself I'll hide in the hollies I drink myself to sleep three nights a week I war with my body Take me to the water on the moon If it's really over Then I'm running out of reasons to stay sober I'll hide in the hollies I drink myself to sleep three nights a week All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions now. That was Take Me to the Water on the Moon with a little bit of The Nearest Earth-Like Star, which is going to be uh, the first two songs in the EP. I'm actually playing them today in order uh, because I realized that no one's really heard them yet, so that's pretty cool. Uh, hi everybody who's just joined us. Uh, I'm Logan, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I'm the only member of the band that matters, clearly, because I'm the only one who's here. I'm sure there's a good reason for why we couldn't be in the same place, but I'm not sure what that is. Um, questions, questions, questions. I know I had at least a couple from earlier. Uh, and I'm just going to make sure I actually get uh, them all in the right thing. Uh, when is it coming and are you doing a physical release? Uh, presumably that's to do with uh, the EP. So, uh, when is it coming? When it's finished. Uh, so all the recording has been done, and uh, the bulk of the production has been done. Um, the major complications at the minute are mixing and mastering, which is being done remotely, because uh, obviously we can't all be in the studio with uh, our producer, Will Stocks, uh, who is at All Kinds of Dinosaurs Studio, which is near uh, Bramall Lane. Uh, really, really great guy. I love working with him. Uh, so when he's finished with it, um, and we're happy with the mixes that he's done, um, it's 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 coming out. Uh, physical release, uh, absolutely yes. Um, if it's going to be at the same time as the digital release, the answer is probably no, uh, because we're going to have to figure that out. And uh, doing physical runs is pretty pretty expensive, uh, even if you're just doing it on like CDs. We were thinking of doing a cassette, and we did toy around a little bit with the idea of um, like. Uh, a 45, 12-inch record, but I don't th I don't think we're going to do a record for this one in the first instance. Um, but physicals, yes, just not right away, uh, and it'll be it'll be out when it's done. Uh, any particular musical influences for new tunes? Um, I've mostly been under the influence of alcohol for this one. Um, that's that's mainly mainly the influence I think. Um, in terms of musical influences. Uh, nothing different to normal. It's been a little bit higgledy piggledy and all over the place, um, because I've not been going out drinking and stuff. 
uh, I've not had as much access to, you know, friends and family and, and live music as, as I'd like. Um, so most of the money that otherwise would have been spent on traveling and, um, you know, socializing has been spent on vinyl records instead. Uh, in terms of this particular EP, um, I've been listening to lots of Turnovers album Peripheral Vision, which is something, if you know me, you know, is like the only album by that band I actually like, because uh, it's really good. Um, I've also been listening to Samia, uh, her album The Baby, uh, which came out in August, uh, is, is amazing. Uh, it, it's so it's so brilliant. Uh, Phoebe Bridges uh, has released an album in 2020, which is spectacular. Uh, like it's, it's, it's just phenomenal. The, the storytelling on that album is just, is just amazing. And, uh, I genuinely can't hear the last song on that album without like tearing up. Uh, I know the end is the name of that song and it's, it's just brilliant. If you haven't listened to it, I think you owe, owe it to yourself. Um, there's also, uh, like a couple of the songs you're about to hear are a bit more emo -y and shit. And I think that's probably just osmosis that I've absorbed from being around Callum too much and also listening to like American football, the Wonder Years, um, bands like that kind of thing. I'll do one more and then, and then I don't know if you want to do some more music. Does anyone, does anyone here have a, yes, the new Phoebe Bridges is really good, Callum. It is, it's brilliant. Uh, does anyone here have a question? I realise it's probably a bit of a delay, so... What's your favourite Kinsella project that isn't American football? Um, Joan of Arc. It's quite difficult to get a hold of their album. The only thing you can get, it seems to be on digital distribution, is a, is a compilation. But that, that shit fucking rocks. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say Joan of Arc. Either Joan of Arc or Owen, which is his solo acoustic stuff, uh, which is... Which is really, really wicked. Oh, oh, sweet. Super Friends asked a question. Let me scroll up. If DIY Twitter makes it to the moon, what do you think the moon, first moon-based beef would be about? Um, I have a feeling it'll probably be one band accusing another of putting milk in their cereal bowl, like, before the cereal. So they get the bowl, they put the milk in it, and then they put the cereal in afterwards. Uh, I don't know what cereal we'd be... Um, eating on the moon. I imagine it would be granola. Um, so, because that's a good honest cereal for my uni friends in the in the chat that, that, that get that joke. Granola is a very honest cereal, especially with dried fruit in it. it just, just adds to the honesty. Yeah. Um, okay. Great. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, it's a very honest cereal now. Right. Uh, I'll play, I'll play Nestle Moon Rocks. What sick fuck would do something like that? Well, I knew a guy in school that did it, and he's in prison now. So, um, probably that kind of sick fuck. I think he went to prison for fraud, rather than, you know, doing anything particularly gnarly. Like, he didn't, he didn't kill anybody, at least I don't think so. But, yeah. You could make a massive bowl of cereal in the moon crater, that'd be great. Alright, Matt. Welcome, Matt. And welcome, Will. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um... You're gonna, you're gonna probably hear the highest notes I've ever sung in just a second. Uh, some of you have probably heard this one already because I've been, I've been singing this one for quite a while. But this one's, um, this one is a letter I'll never send to you, which is just a song about heartbreak, because I've experienced enough of that to write songs about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. All right, Dougie, say hi to our guitarist. Josh, everyone, he's just joined the chat. Uh, give him a wave. Right, this is a letter I'll never send to you. One day it was over And everything was worse I saw the light with a view from halfway down i do it all again But there's a thing or two i change And given the chance I'd be a little better But I, I 
don't regret anything. One day I'll be alright. I take a story off the shelf. I spent the summer searching for myself. I'm not the person I thought I was, so maybe you weren't either. I'll turn the page and start another chapter. I could not begin to open my broken heart. And so I'll write it all in a letter that I'll never send to you. But I, I don't regret a thing. One day I'll be alright. I take a story off the shelf. I spent the summer searching for myself. I'm not the person I thought I was, so maybe you weren't either. I'll turn the page and start another chapter. I'm, I'm just disappointed, really. I'm not even angry anymore. I spent the summer searching for myself I'm not the person I thought I was So maybe you weren't either I'll turn the page and start another chapter Ending on the four chord. What do you think of that one? That one's probably my favourite, to be honest. Certainly my favourite to sing. It took fucking long enough to get that right in the studio. Just, you know, doing doing vocals for that one. Nightmare. Nightmare. Puts you under a microscope. Do we have any more questions people would like me to answer? <laughs> that one's Lyra's favourite. Nice. Nice. Lyra's, Lyra's an excellent cat. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think I probably saw... I think I was writing that while... Um, Lyra. I don't know who Chris Tot is from Hat Films, but um, I don't. I don't have any idea who that is. What's your favourite Nickelback song? Uh, my favourite Nickelback song is probably... Um, let me think. Nickelback. You see, there's, there's such a, a wealth of great, of great material in Nickelback's discography, so... Uh, I'm, I'm going to think. I'm going I'm to say my favourite one is You Shook Me All Night Long. Yeah, definitely. Uh, would I rather have fingers for nipples or nipples for fingers? Um... I'd rather have f fingers for nipples. I feel like that would be easier to explain. Uh, I think that um, having nipples for fingers, like practically speaking, it it would it would like as a guitarist, um, probably wouldn't be great. I don't have very sensitive nipples, uh, so I can't imagine that it would be like uh, painful or anything to play guitar that way. But I think practically speaking, you know, just having these little stubs. And my thumbs, presumably. Unless you count my thumbs as well, then that wouldn't be great either. Uh, hi, Tofu. Tofu is an excellent cat. Um, he's a chonky boy. 
and I hope you're giving him lots of belly rubs. Most decisive answer you've ever had to that question. That's great. Well, if there's if there's one thing I am, it's decisive. You know? I, well, I used to be indecisive. Now, now I'm not sure. Uh, everyone, everyone say hi to the guys from Social Distance Warriors. I'm not sure how many of you, um, have, uh, have, have watched their show. Uh, we've been on it a couple of times, but it's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, so go, go find them on, on Twitter and, uh, on YouTube and everything, and, uh, I'm sure you'll have a great time. Have I ever played Skyrim, and if so, Imperials or Stormcloaks? Uh, I have played Skyrim. I've played Skyrim quite a lot. Uh, frankly, I think that's, like, choosing between... Um, swimming in a pool full of piss and either ducking under the piss or taking a bucket of shit poured onto your head um, with the Imperials being the piss. Um, And, um, yeah. So, generally speaking, I'm, like, independent. Kill them all. Uh, The Stormcloaks, I'm a bit sensitive about, like, they're, they're kind of racist, especially against elves. And normally my character is an elf, uh, and that's... Nah. I mean, you can still join the Stormcloaks as an elf, which is something I thought was kind of weird. That game really has a problem with telling you, like, no. Like, not letting you do things based on what kind of character you are. So it's like, you can be the the sort of... The, the head mage of the, of the College of Winterhold. Like, you can be, like, the top mage, and you can join the Thieves' Guild, and be you know, a decisive, uh, combatant in the, in the ongoing civil war. Like, there's no way that any one character in that story would do all three of those things, even if they are the fucking Dovahkiin, like, how many chickens would it take to overtake a lion? Um, well, are we talking in terms of, like, is it a race? Like, is it a race to the finish line? Um, because I think the chicken would win, especially if the lion... The, you know, a hungry lion would probably be running after it. I think I think the chicken... It would only take one chicken to win a race between a, between a chicken and a lion, uh, I think. Yeah, they are both sh- shitty factions. I mean, those are the only choices you get, really. Like, but... Um, yeah, you got a third way, Skyrim. Uh... It's a fight to the death. Oh, in a fight to the death, how many chickens would it take to beat a lion? I don't think that many. Like, it depends. Like, are these aggressive chickens? Because chickens, you know, like, it's fucking horrible. But, like, chickens can be fucking aggressive. There's a reason we have, like, an ongoing problem in parts of the world with things like cockfighting. Like, fucking ugly. But they can be vicious if, if, if agitated, especially when babies are involved. So if we're talking about hens... Um, my understanding is that they're not quite as aggressive as, uh, like, um, like a rooster. Um, so I think maybe 25, 30 roosters, more hens, uh, not a more hen. That's an entirely different, that's a water bird. Um, but yeah, something like that. Something like that. Okay. Chickens are sneaky fuckers. They'd sneak under the lion and go nuts. Yeah, the issue is if if you're talking about a male lion, they'd probably be too lazy to actually kill the fucking chicken. If you're talking about lionesses, no amount of chickens is ever going to make a difference because lionesses are vicious, especially when it comes to the cubs. Like, lions, male lions, are lazy and do very little. Um, the the lionesses do the hunting and the child rearing. It's 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 crazy. Uh, why are you feeding babies to chickens? Um, the chickens are hungry. The, the chickens are hungry, man. Have we got any more questions, or am I gonna, or am I gonna play another song? What are we gonna do? Anything about the band, about the EP? Uh, if you want my opinion on some music or anything like that. I haven't watched any films, so... Yeah, hi everyone who joined the discourse. That has that has derailed indeed. Um, not that there was much discourse to to be going on with, as it, as it were. You want tunes? Right, my, uh, my producer and bass player is saying tunes, so... What did I do with my capo?
It's right next to my phone. Uh, which is my favourite sugar babe? Don't know. It's like asking me what my favourite STD is. Uh, not for a while. Um, it's it's been pretty bad for. I haven't watched any films in a while. Um, it's been pretty bad for that. I don't have a lot of streaming services or anything, so. Um, like, I haven't watched any new films in a really long time, because I've just been watching ones that I've got saved to my computer, or that I've got as, um, on, 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 like, some kind of physical medium or whatever. Like, not, not ever. It's not that I've not watched any films ever. I actually watched quite a lot of films. I've watched, like, a lot, a lot of films, basically. That was one time I lost my capo at the Mosborough Miners, and it was because the guy who had us on moved my guitar case and didn't tell me, and it was in the guitar case. Now, granted, I should have probably put it on the headstock of my guitar, but whatever. Anyway, this is... This is... This is... Um, waves crashing against me. It's the last one. into the darkness and pull me out of here I'll climb aboard the wreckage until I disappear shouted to the captain, I called his rank and name, he asked me how I came to be on board, he asked me who I was, and I realized that I could not remember. Scars of Juliet. I've climbed up to the rafters and plunged into the depths. I've run that. If this isn't a nightmare, then this might just be the end. I open up my fingers and reach towards the light. And I realize I'm breathing underwater Come up and be open Tell us what you're holding Come up and be open Tell us what you're holding Come up and be open Tell us what you're holding
I like I like how you check if I'm okay with hearing more songs from Into the Red, like after you've asked everybody. Like imagine if you got on a slew of requests for Smash Mouth. And that would I'm not fucking playing that by the way, just for the record. Um but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, the full version has, like, a really cool ambient intro that goes on for, like, two and a half minutes at the end, so... Um, I'm looking forward to everyone's response to that. Intro to Never Men. If my, uh, capo could be in the right place, that'd be great. Ooh! You don't need open tunings. You just need a capo in a really obnoxiously high, play, high position. Uh, I don't know the Living Room song, and I think Callum was trying to encourage you to recommend songs that like we've we've written. Um, and normally, when people request songs from us, um, it's because they want to hear Smash Mouth and. Um, we we've made the commitment to never do that again. Like I'm, that's going on the record. We're we're never fucking playing that song again. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's the crack. So yeah, any 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 further questions or uh, if you want to hear more music, there's plenty. I can play that doesn't involve uh, the EP um, or anything like that. Just good, just good times. Just good vibes all around, generally. A cheeky salt playthrough. I wake up first thing and so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got I've got loads of those now. Uh def I gotta do ghosts. I can do ghosts if you want that sure. That's that's fine. Uh anyway. I wake up first thing and breathe in the sunlight. It might be the last time I see it. Swim in the river and soak my heavy head. I curl my toes against the earth beneath. And I raise my hands into the ocean as you dip your feet. Into the skies below you I'll never really know Just how I wound up here Or why these dangers follow me on Rife with lethargy As the light begins to dwindle The water rises up above my eyes Sleeping in the ocean Assaults in open wounds Wounds that I inflict upon myself And I raise my hands into the ocean as you dip your feet 
straight into the skies below you I'll never really know Just how I wound up here Or why these dangers follow me home Ghosts in the Metro. Alright. I was born Thrive in this haunted hallway The sunlight is my enemy And darkness is my friend The distance between our homesteads Is full of all our hallowed souls When the earth was out of mind So was the heaven and hell below It's been so long I can't The start, no silence, just endless noise The only future is in the headlights There's nothing set the in-between And round we go again No start, no silence, just endless noise And the monsters in the shadows It's been so long, I can't remember who I am solo beat would be. It's been so long I can't remember who I am. The atom bombs me grudge a looping memory. If this winter ends, maybe we'll loop back around the band. Until then we just go. In the metro. Thanks for that, guys. I actually got distracted in the middle because of all the comments. Like, there was just a flood of, of really nice messages of everybody, so thank you for that. You were so wholesome that I fucking ballsed up in the second verse. 
Yes, Josh. Memori. Memori. Mem or I. There's been some excellent banter in the in the chat today. We're getting some more hearts, getting some more love. And I like that a lot. I like that a lot. What's next, everybody? What's everybody having for tea? Thank you, Billy Burton. I appreciate that. I really like singing. The new mechanical keyboard. Pretty. It's very pretty. It's not very quiet, except for the space bar. Quite clicky, the space bar. The rest of it's silent, though. So, so yeah. What are we saying? More tunes? Anyone Anyone got a question for me? Beans? Yeah, Beans on Toast is a good shout, actually. Uh, I, I had... I'm thinking I'm going to have... Um, into the Beans. Bean to the Red. Uh, I think I'm going to have... Um, probably going to have pasta. Pardon me. It's a pasta, pasta kind of day. Yeah. With, like, pesto. I've got some really nice vegan pesto. Um, I didn't realise that pesto wasn't vegan, normally. Um, but apparently it is. Like, not suitable for vegans, so. Yeah, it is, it is sometimes like making music. I might start sampling... I've still got my old keyboard in a box. So I might start sampling that. And then turn it into a song called Shut the Fuck Up, Callum. We're trying to play Among Us and you haven't muted your microphone and now everybody can hear you. Ah, oh, you're very welcome, man. Thank you so much. That's a really lovely comment. I fucking miss gigs as well. Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to eat beans cold out of the can. Yeah, cool beans. You're going to eat cool beans. Um, yeah, exactly, Munya. Pesto has cheese in it. All right, wicked. I think I saw somebody say bonfire a second ago, so I might do that. Any Dark Souls fans in the chat? Give that a second to catch up because. Well, um. Yeah, let's, uh. Let's, let's, let's play. Maybe, maybe this will be the last one, I don't know. I've got another thing in about 50 minutes, so I'm probably... This might be the last one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how good the vibes are after I, after I finish this one. Are we ready? This is Bonfire. Ah, oh, good night. Thanks for, thanks for joining in. Ryan Crick. Thank you so much. Uh, I would not... I would not recommend playing Dark Souls, uh, unless you plan on getting good. Um... But yeah. If I couldn't die, would you see straight through the light? Ah, uh, he just guards my husk like a dying chrysalis. I'll wander in my circle and I'll think of nothing else. The time has come to let this curse take me on. Light a fire Do you realize that you're hoping to light a fire that's doomed to cinders And we're hiding from the answers So they won't be spoken If the world dies today Our secret dies with us Yeah. 
We have more people here than turn up to our shows. Occasionally, we've 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 played to played to quite a few, including the sound dude. Yeah. Uh, if you remember, I'll hold you to the promise that we made when we were young. If you remember. That was a really smooth transition as well. It's been so long since I've played that one. This feels so dumb, like I just took it for granted that I'd, that I'd just remember them forever. Where are you holding on? Could you be the one I've waited for? Could you take a leading role in my downfall? And welcome it all. And so we spoke, we talked for hours, and don't count, don't count on. Mood for us 
sounds And so we spoke We talked for hours And time counts Don't count on me Take a test Fail a life You're never Going to grow up Strike a match Build a fire And so we spoke And don't count Don't count on me Take a test Fail a life You're never Going to grow up Strike a match Build a fire And watch the Cold sun I genuinely think it's it's been literally years since I've sang that. So, sorry that I ballsed up in the middle there. I don't even have a document with the words on it anymore. Like I was gonna look look and see if I had one in a in a backup somewhere, but I was like, no, I don't, I don't. Uh, it just came back to me for some reason. So that's good. That's good. Any more for any more? Any more questions? The requests. Anything like that? Or can I or can I finally end this painful existence? Oh hi Maddie. Thanks for joining in. Uh I'd love to play Amsterdam. That'd be wicked. I'd love to go to Amsterdam again, to be fair. That one I just played, Matt, is called Eden. Uh, it's on our Frequency EP, which is on Spotify. I'm not playing Freebird. Um, yeah, the lyrics would be on Bandcamp, because I probably typed them in manually, because I've memorised them. Like, a singer should fucking memorise the words he's got to sing. Not like the guy from a band that I realise I'm on a public forum and I shouldn't name them was reading lyrics off his phone, like, strapped to the microphone. Like, learn the words, man. Learn the fucking words, man. They were shit anyway. Bass player had a weak handshake. <sighs> Free bird, yeah? Good girl loves a mama, loves Jesus and America too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses and a boyfriend too. You did not miss Luna, I'll play Luna next. It's a long day, living in Reseda, 
there's a freeway running through the yard and I'm a bad boy cause I don't even miss her and I'm a bad boy for breaking her heart and I'm free Walking through the valley, move west down Ventura Boulevard, and all the bad boys standing in the shadows, all the good girls at home with broken hearts. Yeah, I'm free. Gonna glide down over Mulholland. I move west down. I'm gonna write her name in the sky. I'm gonna free fall out into nothing. Oh, I'm gonna leave this world for a while. And I'm free. That was free birds. Right? Do you ever feel like you're trapped in your own body? Believe me, I can feel the warmth of those you've left behind Crossed over, the shadows in the lights are shaped like ancient idols or statues If you woke up in a moment, then would you call this a nightmare? Not really, I'm neither asleep nor awake, but I'm still dreaming Believing, if the moment Close and a hand touches your shoulder, but there's no one there. Naked and cold, all alone. Bring it all to bed. So what am I? Am I a ghost or am I what you're dreaming of? Or is that you? Are you all just these apparitions? But what am I? Am I a ghost? Or am I the poltergeist of it? Will you trash my mind and speak ill of the dead? So stop thinking, just take your breath and wait. It's of rain, we'd wait forever, but never for too long, this 
seconds that add up to this are only stories yet before us and we always dove head first into the moment that defined our worth the excellence of living is something we all strive to know so never forget what got you where you So what am I? Am I a ghost? Or am I what you're dreaming of? Or is that you? Are you all just these apparitions? But what am I? Am I a ghost? Or am I the poltergeist of AIDS? Will you trash my mind and speak ill of the dead? So what am I? Trash my mind and speak ill of the dead Speak ill of the dead See, it's weird, like... I don't, I don't mean for this to be like an ego thing, because I don't mean it that way at all, but like, when we play live normally, you'd get to the end of this really high-energy performance, and then they'd be like an applause, you know, people would clap and they'd, they'd, they'd cheer and they'd heckle. And it's great having this interaction with all of you, it really is. But it does remind me of um, the fact that I'm by myself a little bit as well. And that, um, you know, I'm, I've finished playing the song and then there's just silence. You know, it's not, not something I'm used to. There was one time when I was doing, I, I have a performing art degree, um that I did when I was younger. Um, and there was a, uh, um, there was a musical that we did. We did guys and dolls. I played Nathan Detroit in, in a production of guys and dolls. And, um, the end of the bit, first big song at the end, there was just dead silence. Like, I don't, I don't think this was a musical theater audience normally. Cause we use the, we use the applause as like a cue. And we didn't have that, and it was like, yeah, fuck. Thank you, Maddie, for the for the whistling. You can you can send the audio to us on Twitter. That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, I actually have a bonfire tattoo now, by the way. Not necessarily because of the song, but just because I'm a massive fucking nerd that loves Dark Souls. Um, I love Dark Souls more than you. Um, yeah. Apart from the fucking smell of demon, Jesus. Literal weeks. Literal weeks. Right, I am going to leave it there, though. Because this has already gone on for way longer and been way more successful than I anticipated. Um, but, um... I really genuinely appreciate so much that you guys have, have tuned in. And those of you that came at the beginning and sort of stuck around... Uh, I really, really appreciate it, and um, I'm really, really chuffed that uh, so many of you joined in throughout, and we've had people coming in and out, and and generally just having a great time. So um, I'm so, so grateful. Um, I'm sure I speak for everybody when I say that uh, we all are. Thank you. You're very welcome, Matt, and thank you for for joining in, and thank you, Diana's vibes, like, um, and everybody. Um, yeah, and, um, you know, we're, we're all, I'm not, uh, this is unusual for me, as soon as I'm done with this live stream, I'm uninstalling the app, um, so, uh, again, um, but I'm gonna make sure to save this recording first, because I know you can do that, um, and then, uh, I'm not active on social media, but Callum has a crippling addiction to social media, so, um, he's probably going to, be, be responding to lots of things and I, I do get the brunt of of the messages uh, especially the ones from people trying to license our music from us 
uh, except get us to pay them to do it, which is like, what? 10 out of 10 live stream and watch again. Thank you. Thank you, Hattie. Uh, don't tell me what to do, Callum. Um, yeah, so the first couple of songs I was playing tonight are from our upcoming EP. It's called Wavelength. It doesn't have a release date yet, but as soon as we have it, it's just we're going to release the first song. Yeah, Callum's right. Follow us on Twitter. If I imagine most of you follow us on here already, um, but maybe tell a friend if you think they'll like what we're, we're about. Um, and keep an eye on the spaces because uh, I've been working on editing some footage of, a, of the process of recording it and everything because it's been quite challenging recording this whole thing from home and that, but we've documented quite a bit of it, which is really cool, and I think uh, you guys are probably going to quite enjoy some of that content as well. Uh, in the meantime, uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Be excellent to each other. Um, Quinn says hi. Um, I love all of you. Uh, and the ones that I don't, I'm quietly ambivalent towards. Um, thank you again so much. I really, really appreciate it. This has been so much better than I anticipated it would be. Um, so yeah, good night in a bit.